Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Artorigold, and today I'd like to go over Mei. Mei has a lot of utility, she's very hard to kill, and she can provide a lot of great annoying CC to the enemy, and she really excels on maps like Control or King of the Hill, such as Nepal, and also 2CP maps, especially on defense where there's very large choke points that the enemy has to go through, and you basically just wall them off and you get free easy kills. Now Mei can be very easy to stagger and slow down the point with, because if anybody's trying to cap capture it or if you're trying to contest it you can separate the enemy team you can keep yourself alive with ice wall and ice block and you can cc people to the point where it's so annoying that they have to either fully focus and commit to try and get the kill on you or they will have to back off and kind of just let the kill go it's a very annoying situation for the enemy team to try and deal with you and i kind of want to go over this clip right here because as you can see i'm just being as annoying as possible i'm not really getting the kills but i am doing damage i am making the enemy team use the abilities on me so, so far the enemy team has used nano they've used graviton and they have yet to kill me and while this is happening the enemy team is completely focusing on me and as you can see in the kill feed my team is getting all of the kills and then eventually i'm able to use my ultimate and what you usually want to do with your ultimate is put it on the point and as soon as that happens it's basically the a free objective you get it for free right so basically i'm using my ice wall to cut off people and as soon as someone comes in after me for example this is aria i'm going to wall them off from the team so they can't get heals. I'm going to use my ice block exactly when I'm about to die and I'm going to use my left click to try and slow them and make them back off which buys my team time and also allows to buy me me time in order to get my cooldowns back. So as you can see this Zarya is completely focused on killing me and every time that happens I either use the ice wall or ice block to keep myself alive and I'm just going to CC her and my team is getting all these kills in the background while that happens. And see they even use graviton like this Zarya has just had so much to deal with and she's gotten all this support from her team she hasn't died yet but she's just had enough with being frozen and crowd controlled that she actually gravitons us right here it's a very frustrating thing to deal with a may who just can't die but that's exactly what you're trying to do you're basically slowing the entire pace of the game down and you're not playing the game at their level you're making them play it at your pace and at your level and if you do that then you're going to make sure that the enemy team is going to be disabled they're going to be slow they're not going to be able to do whatever it is that they want to do and then if they try to commit to you you have two cooldowns which will save you from abilities damage whatever in the next clip we're going to go over basically how you want to play the choke point you just want to slow down the enemy and try to trap them off and get free easy picks it's usually very simple to do like if they overextend past the choke point in this instance like i'm not really sure what the zenyatta was thinking here but obviously if they go into the point i can get a free easy wall on whoever comes in first and from there you just just freeze them and you get a free kill and then the enemy team isn't able to do anything except maybe they have enough damage to break through the wall and help get the kill but either way it was a very silly move of that Zenyatta he wasted trans it didn't affect anybody except for himself because the wall basically cut off all the healing and his team wasn't able to join him and then from there you can slow down the pace of the game again while they try to take down the point instead of focusing on right clicking and doing damage focus on getting good walls off that separate the enemy heals from the rest of the team and then just use your left click even if you don't get a full freeze on the enemy your left click will immediately apply a bunch of slow to them so they're not going to be able to go into um, any other position they're going to be stuck wherever they are they're not going to be able to move away from that, which allows your team to get kills. Um, even if they're not completely frozen, with a tiny bit of the left click slowing them down can be enough to secure the kills. So let's go ahead and move on to the second clip. Now, a lot of people think that Sombra is a hard counter to every hero, and they are right. They are absolutely right. However, May can provide also a pretty good counter to a lot of heroes. For example, in this clip, I'm going to show just exactly how miserable it can be for a Wrecking Ball player if you are May. You can literally shut down all of their movement. They will not be able to get away. And even if they do get away from your constant assault of your left click freeze, you also have your ice wall that you can use in order to block off their grapple. So for example, even 
though you can sit and hold down your left click and freeze them, sometimes they might get a good grapple and they're able to escape and you might miss some of your left click so the freeze doesn't happen. You can use your ice wall and block their path somewhere here. So then they're gonna just bump into the wall and from there, if their grapple is still hooked, they are still not going anywhere, right? They can try to move, but they're eventually going to get frozen. Now you need to understand that Mei isn't a very mobile hero herself. She relies very heavily on her short range abilities and her power kind of over the objective and on choke points. You have to take those things and you have to really take it to heart, right? You have to know, I'm not going to be able to beat a Pharah. You know, maybe I can land my shots on a Pharah and maybe secure the kill. But most of the time, a Widowmaker, uh, a Pharah, and heroes that are really outside of my range, I'm not going to be able to kill those heroes. And you have to try and play a little bit more safe. In this instance, I'm going to play on the point, And I'm going to wait for enemies to come towards me. So that's how you really get the most out of Mei. You let enemies come to you. You don't have to be too aggressive. If you're looking to climb with Mei, you basically want to capitalize on enemy mistakes. You want to use your wall and your left click and you want to get free picks on heroes that are out of position and are not able to escape you and if they somehow are able to try and escape from you, you can use your ice wall to try and stop that and then you're able to catch up to them and use your left click to try and really shut them down. And that's all you're trying to do. You're trying to left click and disable tanks as much as possible, keep yourself alive above all else, and stay on the point and stay and guard the choke point as much as possible. Your ultimate is extremely powerful on the objective in overtime situations. If you know for a fact that the enemy team is going to hit overtime and you only need to win one fight in order for you know you to win or get them off the objective, a may ult is perfect for that situation. And you can definitely plan ahead for that as well. So definitely pick May if you know any overtime situations are going to happen. If you're on defense, you can definitely use your ultimate in overtime and basically secure a win because the enemy team is going to have to get frozen or basically they just lose right they're going to see nine they can't touch the point so that can be very valuable information when knowing to pick may for example maps that really benefit snipers obviously heroes like widowmaker hanzo and ash are going to have the advantage in those situations but on king of the hill some payload maps where there's not a whole lot of like high ground or open space and any place with a really good choke spot is going to be the best situation. So always keep that in mind when you're picking her. Make sure to always CC all of the high health targets. Save your ultimates for high impact situations on the point and keep yourself alive and you will secure some easy wins as may and you will climb the ladder. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.